Hi, this is Sarah from beginnerbookkeeping.com. This tutorial will show you some basics on how to manage rows in an Excel worksheet. A modern Excel sheet allows over 1 million rows, which is way more than plenty for an average user like you and me. Each row has a reference down the left hand side here, and these references are all numbers starting at 1. The first thing I want to do is insert a few rows into the spreadsheet so I can add some missing regions. The list is in alphabetical order and the first region I want to add is London. Excel always adds new rows above where you do the inserting. So to add London I need to select row 10 so that it goes above Los Angeles. I select row 10 by left clicking my mouse on the number 10 which selects the whole row as can be seen by the grey shading. Then I right click and select insert. You might also note that Excel automatically adjusts the numbering references to keep them in order. So Los Angeles was row 10 but now it's row 11. Now I can add the details for London. I will leave the accumulated profit details blank for now because these cells contain formulas which we'll look at later in this video. I must also add a row for Sydney, so I'll select row 14 to add Sydney above Tokyo, keeping the alphabetical order. And next I'll adjust the numbering references down the side here. Finally, I want to add two rows for regions beginning with the letter C. I will select two rows because this tells Excel how many rows I want added. If you wanted four rows, you would select four rows. I will select Dubai and Dublin by left clicking on the Dubai row and holding down that left click, I will drag the mouse down over the Dublin row, which selects both of them. Then right click and insert. I have also noticed that there are some rows with duplicated information, so now I must delete those. There are two Glasgow's. I'll select row 9, right click and delete to get rid of the doubled up one. Tokyo and Washington are also doubled up. I'll select row 19 and 20, right click and delete. When you delete rows and you find that some cells contain the hash ref symbol, this tells you that a formula is broken. In this case, it is because each formula uses the row above, but we've now gone and deleted some rows which has broken the formula. Let's have a quick look at the formula in cell H8. I'll double click in cell H8. You can see that it is adding cell H7 to cell G8. Now look at a broken formula. It's missing the data from the cell above. The quickest way to fix this whole column is to click on a cell with a working formula. So in this case, it's cell H8. Move your cursor to the square on the bottom right hand corner of the cell until you get a black plus sign. And double click your left mouse button. This automatically fills the formula down the page. Let's say we want to hide some rows because we haven't got all the information yet. To hide London, select the row, right click and select hide. You can also hide rows that are not adjacent to each other. Let's select Canberra and Cape Town. Hold Ctrl down on your keyboard and select Sydney. Then right click and hide. You will know rows are hidden by the double lines between rows and by the fact that the numbering references are missing numbers. So between Johannesburg and Los Angeles, row number 11 is missing. To bring it back, select row 10 and 12, right click and unhide. Or another way to quickly unhide all rows is to select the corner between column headers and row numbers which selects the whole sheet.
Then move your mouse cursor to anywhere in the row numbering. Right click and unhide. Now all hidden rows are showing. You might sometimes get data that doesn't fit in the row. The quickest way to fix all of them in one go is to select all the rows, point your mouse cursor to a row line in the number reference, so you get a double-sided black cross, and then double-click and Excel will adjust the height of the rows automatically. If you wanted to do it manually, first check the height of a normal row by selecting a normal row, right-clicking, row height, and make a note of this height. Mine is in pixels. Then select a row that needs fixing, right click, row height, and type in the one you made a note of just before. I'll now show you an extra editing option. I'll select a random row, right click, and select clear contents. This removes the information from the row, leaving it blank, but doesn't delete the whole row out of the sheet. You could leave it there and hide it if you wanted. That is the end of this tutorial on managing rows in Excel.